There they are, guys, my beautiful tangerine. She's bloomed fully to the max everywhere. You see that? Full of bumblebees. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to take you step by step until they, you can see the fruit of them in November, October. And there's the orange tree. I don't know if you can catch those bees up there. They're going wild with all the um, nectar from the flowers. There's one bee. Maybe we can get a close-up. There it is. See, she's sucking all the nectar from the flower and she's going to make honey. And this in Greece, we call it, when, when the honey the factories that make honey. Um, this is called anthomelo, which means it's honey from flowers. It's rich in vitamins and minerals, a lot of iron in that honey. Beautiful. It smells like flowers also. Okay, let's see how our liquor is doing. Here's the lemon one. And here we have, in two days, we're going to go to step two, part two, the chili peppers. And here is the basil. Looks like a big bush. We have lots of basils this year. And let's go so I can show you my beautiful rose bush which i told you she was going to bloom and she's fully bloomed here there it is what a wonderful color yellow is my favorite color in roses there's a bud there and that's fully bloomed the petals are ready to fall off but she's going to be blooming all summer and everything is going wild if you go to the first vlog you'll see the difference And the parsley. There it is. And when it gets that high, you have to cut the top stems off and the leaves because they're going to spore. And the plant won't be good anymore. And here I have some flowers. I'm getting ready to plant them. Because my sister yesterday said she's going to go and buy, um, I think they're called, uh, what are they called? Forgot now. Can't remember. I'm going to show you how the celery is going. It's become gigantic. There it is. This has to be chopped off too. See that? We have to cut that off. It can be nice and healthy, but we're not going to have celery in the summer only for the winter. And here are the pears. They've almost doubled in size. There it is. And some more here. The second pear tree. And I'm going to take you to the lemon tree. Well, my husband is roaming around the garden now. I guess he wants to be on uh, the camera and he's not telling me so if I catch a glimpse I'm gonna show you and there's the lemon tree look how many lemons she's gonna have all these purple pinkish flowers little buds really are gonna become lemons if she holds them all which I don't think she will and there is the two baby lemons Go to the second vlog and you'll see the difference how big they became. Okay. And now I'm going to show you the tomatoes. And what we've planted. These are cucumbers. All these are cucumbers. And these are red horned peppers. They're very sweet. They're great for stuffing. And they're great for dill. And this is eggplant. Some eggplant there. 
And these are green peppers. Like that. And here are the tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. There's a little flower right there. You see that yellow thing? That's a tomato, the beginning of it. And we're planting, uh, we're planning to plant. A neighbor of mine gave me these really rare um, tomatoes. They're really tiny. We'll see how they're gonna go. They're purple like the cherry tomatoes, but these are purple and they say that they're very sweet. They're much sweeter than the other kind. And the oregano is on fire. Like that. You see? And what did I want to show you? I want, oh yeah, the roses, my rose bushes. The ones I told you, they were, they were red, but they're not red. They're hot pink. There's one there. They're very, very fragrant. That's one. And this one is white pinkish. There's her bud. So every week we're gonna be going step by step until you see these oranges become, or these flowers becoming oranges. There's another bee. There she is sucking all the nectar. Right there. There's another one. There, right there. Drinking away. And I'm gonna show you, see all these petals everywhere? I'm talking about maybe even millions of petals that have been released from the trees because like I said, she can't hold all these flowers. It's not possible for the tree to hold all this fruit. She's gonna collapse. And speaking of bumblebees, I have a subscriber and her name is Bumblebee. Isn't that a really cute name? She must be a really bu busy bee. Yeah, that's the vlog for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned because we're going to make our liqueur in a couple of days. Have a wonderful Sunday, enjoy it, and I'll see you next week. Bye.